Hello. In this video, I'm going to show you how to resolve auto disputes as an auditor. Auto dispute is a type of system generated dispute that can happen at any time. This type of dispute can happen for a carrier when the accessorial unit entered by the carrier is greater than the accessorial unit that's reported by the NOC. Now it's important to note that the actual auto dispute is not triggered until the shipment is sent to the next participant. For this video, I'm going to be demonstrating to you using this shipment that ends in 8955. I'm going to first go into the view details of the shipment so that you can see that the auto dispute has been triggered. In the shipment timeline, you can see that this has been sent on from the carrier and it's, it's gone to the auditor because the auto dispute flag has been turned on. Taking a look at the shipment details, we can see why. According to the smart contract calculator, Walmart is expecting a $100 wait time charge. You can see that auto dispute is enabled because when we scroll down to the accessorial charges, we can see that the carrier has reported $150 of accessorial charges. It's important to note that an auto dispute only goes to the auditor when the, sh the carrier has sent the shipment on to Walmart Freight Payables for payment with the auto dispute flag turned on. When the carrier inputs their accessorial amount, the auto dispute flag will turn on if the value that they have entered in differs from what Walmart is expecting. There may be scenarios, for example, where the value that they're entering in is a valid one and they submit it on for payment to Walmart. The auto dispute flag turned on, the shipment will automatically go to the auditor for review. In this case, the dispute has been raised by the system because the carrier units reporting for wait time do not match the time reported by the carrier. We can see here that they have input three hours. Let's assume that the three hours is a valid charge. As an auditor, you are able to resolve this for the carrier. From the Walmart auditor's perspective, disputes raised by auto dispute can be handled in a similar manner as disputes raised on accessorials. To resolve the auto dispute, the auditor will need to review the charges that triggered the auto dispute. So if the charges submitted by the carrier are not valid, the, auth the auditor will communicate back to the carrier indicating as such and can resolve it without changing the values. This will allow the carrier to, to amend the values that they've submitted so that they're in line with the carrier. In this particular example, we're going to change it so that the, the value so that what Walmart is expecting will align with what the carrier is submitting. Always as a good practice, it's good practice to ensure that if the auditor modifies a carrier's invoice due to auto dispute, the auditor should always leave a meaningful comment in the activities and comments history section describing why changes to the invoice were made. For example, I'm going to add a comment here that will say wait time charges are in review. And I will submit this. You can see in the activities and comment history that my comment has been tracked. Continuing in this example, let us take the assumption that the three hours that the carrier submitted are correct. The Walmart auditor will need to update what Walmart is expecting in order to match the carrier's submission and to turn off auto dispute when the carrier resubmits the invoice for payment. To do that, 
I'm going to modify the source to knock table. I'm going to click on the pencil icon to edit my asset attributes. This will bring up the update instance pop-up. I'm going to scroll down to the knock to the source knock to table. And I will click on the drop down to edit. Within this source to knock table, I'm able to edit the existing value here. Because the attribute entered in is in hours, I'm going to change this from two hours to three. When I'm ready to update, I can click on the update button. Please keep in mind that modifying this table allows the charges to align with the approved charges that are submitted by the carrier. Doing this will ensure that the invoice is not placed into auto dispute when the invoice is resubmitted to Walmart by the carrier. If there are multiple items that the carrier is disputing, the auditor will need to add a knock entry for each disputed item more than one. We can now take a look at the smart contract calculation and we'll notice that the wait time charge has now updated to $150. This now brings the expected into alignment with what the carrier has submitted and the auto dispute flag has been turned off. As you can see, the system has automatically resolved the auto dispute it is no longer in a disputed state and it now resides back with the carrier. The carrier is now able to submit this shipment onto Walmart for payment.